Hello everyone, my name is Kevin. Um, I'm just going to show you a few things about Ghost Mantis as quick and some of the other mantises I have. Most people don't most people don't know I keep them and not a lot of people actually do and but they're actually catching uh, gaining gaining a lot of speed and uh, they're they're getting pretty popular. This week I had a Ghost Toothcase hatch and I posted on Facebook. I got a million questions about the uh, life cycle and uh, feeding and all this. And I do sell the flies. I sell different flies. I'm going to show you here in a sec. Um, this here in the middle, which I have a separate video of these guys actually hatching, are ghost mantises. I'll show you one a little bit better. And these are a communal mantis. Most mantises are not. And uh, live together quite well. Over here, we have a very awesome, beautiful, um, gold phase ghost mantis. She's just hanging out there. Doing a little ghost mantis thing. If you blow on them a little bit, like that, they'll start rocking because they're saying I'm a leaf, don't eat me. Very tame, um, that's not a full grown adult, they get a little bit bigger than this, males are smaller, females are bigger, and at this size I'll eat crickets, blue bottle flies, house flies, um, little roaches, things like that. Here we have a, a brown phase one, which I'll show you if I could focus in. Uh, He's just hanging out. Real dark one. Real beautiful. Looks like a little leaf. He's going to dance around there. Going to try to wander off for a moment. I keep most of my mantises because a lot of mantises really aren't that big. The Chinese are actually some of the bigger ones that you see and happen to be a feral species in the U.S. You know, these aren't native U.S. or whatever, but um, they're actually most mantises aren't really that big. I mean, here's my hand. There's my mantis. I mean, I mean, I mean, that's not, they're not too small. You know what I mean? Um, they get a little bit bigger than this, but it's a nice little mantis. That's a 32 ounce cup, you know, that I have here. And my nice little mantis here, which I love. She's beautiful. And here's some of the first instar. They call it an L1 because it's fresh out of an egg. An L2 is hashtag once. And it keeps going like that. Usually male, females have about two more sheds than, uh, than males do. Uh, you count abdominal segments. The, the antennae are different. You know, see they move a million miles an hour on these ghosts here. I also carry a lot of other mantises here, which will be available. Like this here up here, he's chewing on a fly. Is a Indian flower mantis male. You can see the wings protrude past the abdominal, um, the abdomen, sorry. And uh, he's real pretty, he's got some color on him. I'm not gonna bug him too much. Um, I have about a dozen species or so. Um, the ghosts are just one of them, but let me show you compared to the adults, what a baby ghost looks like. And they're they're sub adults. They're not really adults. There it is. It's really fast. Hold on. Mm, not focusing. There it is. There he is. See the bigger ones. Those guys here on their cups were probably that size not even two months ago, and they grow really really quick. And what you want to feed these guys because of how small they are are fruit flies. Oh, this camera, I'm so sorry. And this thing, this guy moving. Um, see there? Just like an ant. And I gotta move him away from his mom, because he's probably gonna get eaten, because we don't keep mantises that, um, are not the same instar together. They have to be the same size. Otherwise, you know, you could risk cannibalism. There he is on my hand. Real, real tiny. Not too fast, not too fragile. Here, hold on, two seconds. I'm sorry. Alright. Got him in his container. This is a 32 ounce cup, which makes a very good house. It's got a cloth lid when they're babies because they eat um, Malagaster and Heidi Eye fruit flies, which will go right through these. These are the screen lids. They fit right on top of the 32 ounce. When they become adults, they give the adults more oxygen. They're gonna have larger food. Only thing is, it's gonna evaporate a lot quicker, but once they have their wings, they're not gonna malt anymore. But so long as you have water, um, I, pr I recommend that you move to this. But I mean, most mantises can be kept in a 32 ounce cup. There's the little guy, and the big guys, I mean, see, you just kinda give them some sticks, some humidity, make sure you missed them. All right here, I sell Heidi Eye fruit flies, which are a larger fruit fly. They're a little bit bigger, and we don't feed these till they're about L2 to L3s. These are Malagasters. 
they're very tiny. Very, very good food. And I sell cultures that last um, up to a month, maybe a month and a half. The medium down here, and then the Excelsior, and the flies. It's only five bucks. And it's going to last until they can move up to the Heidi Eye. And then at the Heidi Eye, which I sell and a lot of people do, and they sit in those same 32 ounce cups that uh, you can get basically anywhere. You can get them from me up for like, you know, 50 cents. I'll hook you up or whatever. If I, if I like you or you buy a couple, I'll just give them to you. You know, I put the date, Heidi Eye, and it doesn't take too long. You got all your flies. They'll move from the Malgasters to the Heidi Eye. And in about a month and a half, you can feed crickets, blue bottle flies. Just like he's enjoying, which you can get a lot of for very cheap. Or you can do, you know, little roaches or whatever. But those are ghosts. I love them, and uh, pretty much everybody does. I'm going to show you something real quick. A really rare, rare mantis. Hard to get your hands on of, and very expensive, and you can expect them next year. That, right there, is Lucy. And Lucy is a shield mantis. I wish she'd come out, but I think she was trying to catch a cricket in there. She's looking at me though. They got this like little wide thing going on. She's only a sub adult, probably not even halfway. Um, these are a pretty not not too cheap of a mantis for as far as mantises go. Um, I have also African twigs, all different kind of flower mantids, and I'm working on some other stuff. But um, I will post them as they become available. And any questions you have, um, for the most part, until they get a certain size, 32 ounce cups worked well their whole life. For a lot of these species, if you get a big 10 gallon, you could keep up to a dozen of these ghosts together, so long as they're the same instar. You know, I don't recommend, maybe if you have like a bunch of females who put them together, and a bunch of males who put them together. Well fed, nice communal species. Heidi I Melagaster, I recommend them, because these guys are tiny. Very small. Also very hard to kill. Alright everybody, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I'll keep you posted. I still have a few available, and I'll have more available very shortly. Uh, hopefully, Cindy will have some too pretty soon. All right, thanks. Bye.